Welcome to today's little lesson of connecting custom domains. Specifically what we're working with here is um, updating the DNS records using a GoDaddy account and it's very very similar for any other hosting uh, or registrar provider. Um, but we're going to use GoDaddy for this and it is a transfer from WordPress to Webflow but again it doesn't matter um, where you're transferring it from. This is how you transfer it to Webflow. So the page that we're seeing right now on my screen um, is pretty much the entirety of it. It's nice to keep this little thing with you if you're you know, running a migration, but it's really just a little checklist of um, everything. But it's relatively straightforward. I'll just kind of, I think it's nice to visualize things. So we will walk through a domain migration together. Let's start in Webflow. So inside of our dashboard, we're just going to go to whatever the project is inside of your project settings. And for this particular project, we do not have a custom domain linked yet. And that's what we're going to be doing. So you can go this way and do that. Or you can go to hosting and drop down into our custom domain section. So in this particular case, we're going to be using s3cases.com. That is going to create a TLD www with the C name record and just an s3cases.com with the A name records. And we're going to include both of these um, just because, you know, we're cooler than everybody else. So let's take a look. We've got our A name records that are spelled out for us. Those are custom to our site and the C name, which is standard for all Webflow sites. And that is pretty much all we need right now. And we'll run back and check these, run some tests in a minute here. Over in our GoDaddy account, once you've logged in or whatever, I'm using a delegate access, so don't worry about this stuff up here, but inside of your domain manager, we're just gonna go to the domain that we would like to manage, pull up our DNS, or I suppose we can just manage our zones. Um, why is it being complicated? We'll do it a different way. That's three cases. Scroll down, manage DNS, there we go. So these are our current DNS records and for every migration on any site for anybody, um, I am going to be screenshotting this just to keep a record of it somewhere safe in case we have issues so we can come back and repopulate it as it was previously. Particularly we're gonna be focusing on the C name and the A name. So we just did a transfer and this is gonna say parked here. Whatever yours says, you can delete it um, if you have multiple A names, you're going to want to get rid of at least one of them. We should just have one A name record, or sorry, we're going to have two A name records, but they should both be um, Webflow. So what we're going to do is for this first one, honestly, let's just clear it out. And we will create some new ones. Let's add a new A name record. And I apologize, there's a little bit of lag going on with me. Okay, should be smooth. So we're adding an A record here inside of our GoDaddy DNS records. The first A record is at that value. So I'm gonna click it, copy to clipboard. Just put at our value. And then what, we, what I've been using, um, and you can kind of do whatever you want. An hour is probably fine. But a lot of the time I'll do um, four hours, which is 14, four. And I'll probably just leave it at that. Um, I like I like the four hour TTL, it gives us a little delay. And then we're gonna add another A record. This time it's gonna be at that number. And we'll do another 14, 400. But really this is just, it's just a time till, uh, TTL, what does it stand for? Time till reset or whatever. Um, TTL, time till live. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's cool. So we've got our A records updated, and then let's add our C name. That's going to go to proxy SSL.webflow. Um, and you know what I'm going to do for this one actually is we're just going to add this C name because I think that those ones. Okay, well, I took a brief pause there. I know that it just jumped um, and did a little research. I am going to actually be keeping this C name for the auto discovery and the domain connects for GoDaddy. Those are both fine. 
and I believe that this one is fine as well. I hate to kind of put it on the spot, but I'm not going to delete it yet. All I'm going to do is add a new CNAME record, and hopefully that will uh, populate all we need it to. So let's just take that proxy, go back here. That's a www proxy TTL. We'll probably set just an hour um, unless there's some specific thing. I think that's fine for this one. And let's add that record. Aha, so that is correct. So we will need to be getting rid of that other one or better yet, we'll just edit it. So I think that's the case. We can only have one www. And let's save that out. Okay. So thank you for bearing with me. Success, DNS records have been updated and essentially, bing, 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 we're done. So now what we're waiting for is let's check on our Webflow side of things if this connection is valid. So that should be immediate, yep. And this should be immediate as well. Beautiful, so we are now connected. And then the last thing that we'll do is all the way back here at the top. We'll open this up. Custom domains are now linked. So we will go ahead and publish. This publish probably will not take effect. I'm gonna go ahead and load this old site. Oops, that's not it, that's the new one. The old domain up quickly and just keep it active. So we can tell when it updates and it won't be immediate. Um, in my experience, it's been somewhere between five minutes and two hours but usually it's you know around the 15 20 minute mark i start to take a look and see if there's anything wrong um but it has been published successfully i don't expect it to populate that quickly but it has i love when that happens and we're launched um so there you go that is how to migrate a domain it is relatively simple and painless and then there's some other checks that you can run on analytics, but if you get to this point, it's considered successful. And um, the analytics will tell us if there's any issues over coming days and hours. So there you go. Um, if you have any questions, of course, you know, feel free to reach out and I will answer them as best as I can. Uh, thanks, please.